Hello, everyone. This is, um, let's see, November 20th, 2022. Uh, I, I'm going, I was going to give you this word and, and I had another uh, prophecy come through today and it was very serious and very stern. So, um, I, I'm not sure how we're all going to do this today, but I'm going to do my best. Um, I could feel how serious and stern it was, and it's time to wake up. Time to wake up, people. Um, wow. Um, the, he, 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 he keeps talking about um, what's coming, about are you ready? Are you ready? You know, it's so, it's so important that you're ready, and please be ready. Oh, I, I'm... I'm just burying my heart and my soul here because of what I just heard from God and, and I know it's coming and I, I know we're getting close to that time where we're going to actually see miracles, signs and wonders. And um, I want you to be on the right side of all these things that are coming because the evil's coming down. It's plain and simple. He keeps repeating that over and over and over. He's, he's telling me it's just everything's going on in the background right now and it's all coming down, all of it. And um, everybody needs to be on the right side, you know. We we need to be on, on on the on the the right side of God because if we're not, we're gonna miss out on these blessings that are coming. I mean, there's tons of blessings coming. It's a new future kingdom reign that's coming. Um, we're going to stay here on the earth for for quite a while yet, uh, and and we're not done yet and it's going to get even better and better it's going to be full of prosperity health and and wealth it, it's it's just it's just wonderful and um but he's really serious about what's what's going to happen here and i want i want you guys to to know what's coming so i i'm going to go ahead and give you this word and then i'll i'll see if i do if i can do the new one with you right after that um there's mm, yeah, so let's start it. Uh, this one, um, he told me this way back in September 18, 2022. And um, he told me the title of this was The Future is Coming in Full Force. And um, I have done this video once before, and I, I had just gotten a phone, a new phone, and I, I guess the settings were for the, you know, the extreme high definition uh, but what I can tell you is that it wouldn't transfer over to what I had to upload it up online. So here I am doing it again. And so uh, here's here's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go and see what God's going to do during this time. So anyway, I'll give you this word first. This is what he told me to do. So let's do this first. Um, September 18th, 2022. And um, today is November 20th, 2022. The future is coming in full force. And that's the title. He gives me the titles. <clears throat> Look unto me for what is to happen in the near future and beyond. You have a great future indeed. Behold, the best is yet to come, full of my mercy and grace. I am giving you, my saints and non-believers, a chance to repent and serve me. Do not serve a deceived reality you are in now. The reality you see around you will not satisfy you as you thirst for what is righteous and true. I alone can only fill you with this thirst. Bring, f let me do that again. Drink from me and my cup, for you will be filled. Nothing else will fill you up and quench what you only need for your mind, heart, spirit, and soul. I, the Father God, can only fill these places inside of you. As the events unfold and the changes take place, you will need to be steadfast in me, only relying on what I have for you. For my love and peace will keep you calm through the coming storm of each change and circumstance. While your enemies receive the coming judgments, I will keep you safe during the coming storms. My future for you, saints, and the unbelievers of the world will come in ways you will not think possible. <clears throat> My ways are a mystery to all who know and receive me. I am a creative God who knows how to talk and minister to each and every one of you. 
My spirit, the Holy Spirit, will provide a way for you to find me, and I will seek you out until you know that I am real. I am knocking on your door, coming to show you my love and grace to saturate you with me. <clears throat> I am the only one who sees you and knows you, for I am the Lord of everyone and all things. My son Jesus Christ has done all the work on the cross and paid a price for your life. Your sins have been washed away when Jesus paid that price. All you have to do is receive and ask him into your life and ask for forgiveness of your sins. This is the way to a life of freedom and truth that only I can provide. Your father is with me. Sorry, I'll say that again. Uh, your father is with me. I'll do that again. I, I read that wrong. I'll get this right. Your future is with me. And it's God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are three in one. You are currently experiencing a change while I separate the lambs and the goats, getting you ready to receive what I have for you. I'm still cleansing my lambs, believers, for the coming blessings into the future. My refining is moving you into a place to let go of all that does not serve me. The goats, the non-believers, I am still pursuing you to bring you into my future of blessings and kingdom reign. I have not given up on you. The future coming to your earth will be great. It will be filled with my glory. Like the water over the whole earth in the days of Noah during the great flood. The glory will be everywhere and no one will be able to escape what I have done. <clears throat> The lost will come running back to me because my glory will be all around them and beckon all those that don't believe. Yes, my glory will be everywhere. No one will be able to escape it. The evil will be pushed back during this future you are stepping into. Great are the days for the saints of the current time. As I show up, and show off my healing power and remove all that is evil and corrupt. All my saints, expect your healings to come, for you are in the time of this great exodus from the current reign of evil. Not one believer will miss out on what I have for them. Don't be on the fence serving me. I want you to be all in and completely sold out to me, Father God Almighty. Your future is here now while I remove the evil reign of the current Babylonian system, and then these are all in capital letters, you are no longer a slave to it. And then he says, your freedom is not forsaken. I have everything in place now. Receive the promises from me and shout it out now. <coughs> all the promises, speak them now. That is your future. Only speak what I have said, not the evil or negative words. For what you speak, you shall have and receive. This is how powerful your words are. Check my word from the Bible. It is only filled with truth and righteousness. Nothing from the enemy will prosper. The devil will always lose. I love you. Keep my promises in your mind, heart, soul, spirit. I am the only way for you to fulfill your future. Love your Father God. Wow. Uh, okay, so uh, what do you want to do with this, Lord? Um, this is a good word. I, I just, I just, he wants me to keep reading, so I'm going to go over the new word that I got. Um, <coughs> today. Um, there's a lot to say in that one that I just said, but uh, there's, there's this one too. Um, he wants me to, to go ahead and read this. <clears throat> this one is very uh, serious and it's like a stern talking to. It almost felt like a stern talking to. I actually felt this one. Um, it was hard to write down. 
Um, so I heard this one today, uh, November 20th, 2022. And the title he gave me was The Ways of the Lord Are Here. <clears throat> For I, the Lord, <coughs> excuse me. For I, the Lord, is preparing my ways upon the earth. Peace and restoration is for you. Watch me bring total peace and restoration to you, my believers and me. I will not leave anyone out. Those of you who really want me shall know what is coming. I have impressed on you the knowledge and wisdom for this time and era you are in. Truly, I say to you, watch and see my glory change the way you live on earth. A divinely presence of me showing through you. And this is Father God. I will not lose this war, for I have already won. Victory is yours. Yes, victory is yours. Yes, victory is yours. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to get that out. All right, here in the now, you will see areas of your life changing from one way to another. I have my saints ready for this at this time. Those of you not ready, hold on to what you know about me. You'll need all my strength to get you through. You will learn to rest in me and seek me while I switch the earth into my kingdom era. This progression is swiftly here. Do not be caught in the dark. Surely, look unto my true prophets who speak my truth and current narrative. Your spirit will know the truth. I have taken all the barriers and cloudiness away from your minds so you can truly hear from me, your Father God. Let the truth penetrate you and fill you up. I have made a way for you to hear it. Don't refuse it. Get ready to receive this moment and word from me to release you from the evil control of your current system you live in. And then he says, Babylonia, you will fall. Oh, sorry. It says, Babylonia, you are done. And that's the current system we're in. That's what he calls it. Your time is now, Babylonia. You are done. Your fall is great, crash and burn. You are dust. And then he goes on, he says, I am the Alpha and Omega, greater the works I do, and I do is in capital letters. My time is my time, I will not change it. And then this is all in capital letters too. I am truth. Now you will watch my kingdom arise in full force. In victory and righteousness, there I will be. Behold, the truth is the only words that shall be on my remnant and true believers in their souls. That is the only way it will be for my children. My son Jesus finished the way for you. The cross was his sacrifice for you. Yes, yes, you. And then he just ended it just like that. And he says, the Lord of you, I, Father God. And so that was one I heard today. Um, oof, whoa, whoa. Let's see what God wants to say through all this. Um, okay, so um, he's talking about the future being here now. Um, we're actually going to see this happen very soon. Um, hmm. He does talk about um, the first word where he says, this is a great future coming. Um, he wants you to know how wonderful it's going to be. And it's full of mercy and grace. And, and boy, have I needed grace lately. And mercy. And um, yeah, he's still, he's still talking about people repenting. So if you need to repent, go ahead and repent. There, there's, there's nothing wrong with repenting. I mean, I've been taking the Lord's, the Lord's Supper communion almost every day now just to get that in there just to the seriousness of where we need to be at and and what we need to believe in and who's first you know and it's about him he's first 
before everything. <clears throat> so, uh, yes, please repent. Uh, go ahead and repent. Tell them. Tell them you want to repent. Take, the, take communion again. Take the Lord's Supper again. Go in there in the Lord's Supper. Read it in the book. Uh, read it in the Bible. It, it, it go through it. Just take the Lord's Supper again, again and again and again. I've been doing it every day. It's so helpful, and it gets me right back to where I need to be. Um, it, it puts him first. Um, you know, if you guys haven't figured out by now, the reality you're living in is very um, is not real. It's a deception of what we are supposed to be living in. So many people are living in it and just letting it happen. And uh, we are not supposed to be in this world. We're sp we are in it. We are not of it. And so uh, that's what his word says. And so you've got to completely remove yourself from all these temptations and all the, the, the current uh, narrative that you hear on the news and the media and everywhere. And they're just trying to cause all this death and destruction and, and awful, awful news. Okay, Lord, I just felt you there. Uh, uh, there's, there's so much awful stuff going on in, in the future. I mean, in the, in the now. And, and that's not the reality he wants us living in. Not at all. It won't satisfy you, he says. And you will be, sir, you'll be thirsting for truth and righteousness. You're going to thirst for it. Um, please go after that. Please go after God and search for the truth and righteousness. He's He's going to show you everything. And he keeps telling he keeps telling me too. I'm the only one that can feel this thirst that you have. This thirst that you know something's wrong. That you know there's so much more that's coming, and that you could be. And he will fulfill all of that. It's so simple, people. It's so simple to just take yourself away from all these things that are going on around the world and just take yourself away from it. Yeah, it's there, but you don't have to acknowledge it. You know, it's all about the words you speak because our words are so powerful right now. I mean, if you speak negative and you speak curses over yourself and, oh, you speak like, oh, this is what I'm doing right now and it's not working out at all. Oh, I, I feel like I'm cursed all the time and all this stuff happens to me all the time. That's not going to do it for you. That's not going to help you. That's just not going to help you. Um, you have to speak the words from the word, which is God's word. And when you speak blessings over yourself, it will build you up. You will come into communion with God and all of a sudden those things will start happening. There's a new song out. It's called Blessings Everywhere. And it's really beautiful, but they just repeat that over and over like a praise song. Blessings everywhere. It's just beautiful. Blessings everywhere I go. And, and that's what I've been hearing in my head now. And it's really helping a lot. Because, you know, then I start speaking nice things about people and, and the situations that we're in. And it actually makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. And remember, you know, in order to quench that thirst that you have, and you know, you know you have a thirst for it. You want to quench that thirst. It's not in the world. It's right there in, it's in God Almighty, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. Mm. Yep. He's the only one that can fill those places inside of you. Yep, in your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Mm. He will fill it up. Wow. Uh, wow. I'm going to... Here we go. Mm. Remember, um, the future that's coming for us and the unbelievers, um, it, God's going to show up in ways that we've never thought possible before. It's going to get to a place where um, nobody's going to be able to save all this stuff that's going on around us. And the only one that's going to be able to do it is God. Period. He's the only one that's going to be able to change it all. He's, he's a mystery to us all. And he says his word is a mystery to us. And he lets us know hints and clues and, and his word about what's coming and, and what we can do to keep strong and steadfast. And boy, has he been talking about the coming changes. Ugh. And he says, you know, 
Um, listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will guide you. He will let you know that he is real. Um, and fill yourself up with praising him and, and just praying. And I, okay, and, and the Lord's Prayer. You know, the Lord's Prayer gives us a hint about what is coming. You know, it says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So we're acknowledging God right there. That's That's a good thing to do. He will bless you for that. Every time you say that, and you say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And then, mm, that means it's coming. The kingdom's coming down here on earth as it is in heaven. There it is. It's on earth as it is in heaven. We're going to have a kingdom rule here. And it's, yeah, it's in his word, his Lord's, it's Lord, it's Lord's prayer. It was right there. Oh. Mm. Oh, Lord, what are you doing here? Um, yeah, I know he wants, he wants to save every one of you guys. Um, he wants to show you his love and grace and his grace to saturate him, to saturate you with him. Um, he's the only one who sees you and knows you. Mm. Oh, my goodness. And, you know... Jesus took that on the cross. He took it all on the cross. It's already been paid for. He makes it so easy for us to get there. Mm. It's all been washed away. Man. You know, um, there's so much more to life. There's so much to experience in life. And it's not what you're living in now with this earth around you. It's, it's, it's such a lie and deception and, 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 and all the truth is going to be revealed. And that's okay. That's where we're going. So I want to let you know that the truth is going to come through. Everybody's mind is going to be cleared. And, um, all of those and all of you that don't have clear minds. He's going to take all that out that was distracting you. He's going to take all the uh, the fogginess and the distraction part of it, and he's just gonna remove it. And he's going to show you clearly about what is coming and what he is and how much he loves you. And he wants to clear all that up so you can decide to have a true to have the truth so you can decide if you want him or not. That's what's coming. He keeps telling me that he's gonna clear everybody's mind up. There's not gonna be any fogginess. There's not gonna be any deception in your mind. He's going to have that opportunity for you to say yes or no. And say yes. You know how much he did for us. He sent his only son to die on the cross for us. He took that and he just, oh, he made a way that was easier, a gra full of grace and mercy and the sacrifice that Jesus did on the cross man he's just asking you to say hey oh, follow me come to me I will take care of everything that's on you all the heavy burdens all the heaviness all the problems you have in your life all the bad things that are going on I keep hearing that from everybody around me you know about Oh, this is happening to me, and this is happening to me, and I, I, I seem to be this way, and I actually have all these things happening. All these bad things keep happening. And they'll even say, you know, that they're cursed. And I go, don't do that. Don't do that. And I, I, I don't actually say that <laughs> to that people, but every once in a while I will because God will have me speak it out. But don't put those curses on you. Don't do it. Go after what God wants to truly put in your life and your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your whole life, it'll change. He wants his blessings to you. And I tell you what, it's real, it's real, it's real. I'm experiencing blessings after blessings after blessings. My, my days are wonderful. There's some times that are hard, but there's days that are just so wonderful and it's hard to go to work, it's hard to do this. But you know, I, I, like today I was just seeking him all day and he had me doing things today that was for his kingdom. 
and his future purposes. And um, I just love it. Um, I had a lot to get in today. Um, and it was things that I didn't actually want to do, but I knew it was coming and I was showing some things, you know, the last few days about what I needed to do, how I needed to get there. And he's just so perfect about that. And I'm still working out some of the last details, but he is there and I'm going to let you know that he can do it for you. Don't ever give up on that. He can do it for you and he will never get up on you. So where are we going now? Let's see what God's got. Okay, <sighs> Lord, what do you want to say next? I, I hear deliver, deliverance, deliver them. So who wants to be delivered? Um, you want to be delivered from all this garbage around you? Then just repent and just acknowledge God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. They all, they're all three in one. That's how they exist. They all work together. But Jesus did that for you to make it so easy for you. You can let go of all those things that you don't need in your life. You know, your souls have layers. And it's like, um, I've also heard it like an onion, but your soul also has like pages of it. When you open up a book, it has pages and pages and pages of things that have happened to you and what people have said over you or what's happened in your life. And all those things are not true that are from the enemy. So if there's anything in your heart and soul that you went through, I mean your soul, where you went through some bad things, it'll be written there on your soul. And what God does is he can take it away from you. So in order to do that, you need to be saved. So go ahead and repent. Say, Father, forgive me. I know not what I do. And also say, and Jesus died on the cross for you. So go, so go ahead and say, acknowledge what Jesus did. He died on the cross for us. He took all that sin and pain away. Took it all out of our lives. Mm. And repent. Say, I'm... I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I acknowledge what you did on the cross. You made it so easy to get to heaven. And he died and he rose on the third day and he wiped out all the sin, all the evil, all the pain. And you know what? And then all you have to do is ask him into to your life. And that's all you got to do. And you're born again. You're actually getting going to heaven. And heaven's rejoicing. And so are you, because you're going to feel light as a feather. All those burdens that are going there, they're gone. And um, let's go ahead and clean out that soul. Now that you're saved, go ahead and say, Okay, Father, let's get rid of those things from our souls that don't belong there. Loosen all the parts of our souls that don't belong there. Yes, Father, loosen them. And that's what the binding and loosing is in the, in the scriptures. They're talking about binding and loosening what you need to be from your souls. So go ahead and say, loosen those things from my soul, the things I can't carry around anymore, the things that don't belong there anymore. Loosen all the evil, all the bad things, all the negative things, everything that doesn't belong there, all the demonic, everything, anything that was from the evil. Loosen it. All those awful things people said to you and about you, loosen them. Make, there they go. I just felt that. There they go. And God, Jesus, just draws them right out and takes them out. You'll feel as light as a feather, brand new. And now when, yes, and now it says to loosen and also to bind. So you can bind yourself to Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, God the Father. And his ways, his mercy, his love, his goodness, all of the things that he's all about. That's what you want to do. So you bind yourself to them and you bind yourself to God the Father, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. And the parts of your soul that you need to be healed, whole, and complete. You ask him to do that. Okay. Put all those things in there that were stolen from you from, from other relationships, um, 
Oh, people demanding too much from you. Oh, all those things you gave away of yourself that you shouldn't have. God will put them right back in there and heal you and ask him to put them back in and bind those things to you, to your soul, to make you healed, whole, and complete. Breathe it in. Yeah, go ahead and breathe it in. Yes, in your ways, God the Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, everything about you, bind myself to you, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, God the Father. And then you'll be made healed, whole, and complete. And boy, will you feel brand new. Oh, I already feel great now. So I want to encourage you guys to do that. This is wonderful. You're going to be complete and made whole. And this is something I've learned uh, in, in the last, um, I think it's six months to a year more like seven months. Yeah. And uh, I've learned that about that. And I've been doing that daily now. Do that daily. Loosen the parts of your soul that don't belong there. And bind yourself to God's ways, his mercy, love, everything about him. And bind those things back that were stolen from you, from those layers that were stolen from you. Oh, because it's totally worth it. And I want to thank you guys. You're going to feel great. So thank you guys for listening to this word. This went in direction where God wanted it to go. So here we go. Um, oh, I feel great. Yeah. Uh, lift God up. Tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, God Almighty, Holy Spirit, for what you did. Thank you for making me healed, whole, and complete. And always thank him because he loves that he comes undone. And he blesses you even more. And um, speak blessings of yourself every day. The words that are in there, it says, if you're healed, you're healed. Stand on it. If it says you're redeemed by Christ, say it. I'm redeemed by Christ. If it says you're, a, you're, you're worthy to be saved, say it. I'm worthy to be saved. Just do it. All those promises that you ever said in there, say them over yourself. Those are blessings. So that will line up and God will line up that word that you speak out of your mouth and he'll make it so and it'll come to pass. And even if you don't totally believe it, even say, I choose as an act of my will, and those words, and then say what you want. I choose as an act of my will. I choose as an act of my will for these things to come to pass. And whatever you say from the Bible will come to pass. It's all those promises and all those things that you want in your life. And if you totally don't believe it, it will happen. Because you're choosing as an act of your will, it will come around. And his God's word always comes back around. And so does your word. It comes back around. It doesn't fall to the ground. It always comes back and fulfills itself. And that's how God designed it. So yes, do that. Uh, you're going to feel great. You're going to love living this life with God. And he's going to just bless your socks off. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for listening to the word and God's word. There was two of them. So we got through that. And uh, this is where God led the whole thing today. Uh, thank you for doing that. Um, uh, I guess till next time, uh, spread this, share this word and video. God wants it shared to everybody. Keep sharing it, keep sharing it, keep sharing it because man is going to change. It changes people's lives and it's going to make you brand new. It's going to, it's going to turn people's lives around and there's an anointing that comes through and I can feel the anointing come through this and there's an anointing that comes through and it comes through to you through the video. So please grab it, receive it and just say, I receive it in Jesus name and just let it come in. Mm. And I release the anointing on you from Jesus Christ because once we're saved, we get a deposit of the anointing from Jesus Christ and it never leaves. So you can release that to people and it will start changing people's lives. So I release the anointing of Jesus Christ to you, receive it, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to God's word and to me when he comes and he's letting me come, I'm letting it come through me. And thank you for just sharing this word. And I'll see you next time. Bye.